Hi, I'm Ryan Gross. I'm Thomas Aronson. And we're from Martinsburg, West Virginia. This is our project, the development of intelligent and dexterous robotic arm. So basically, with this project, we wanted to try to make a robot that could function as close to a human as we could. And with that, it kind of has universal applications. We can use this project for prosthetics or consumer applications, interactive stuff, or dangerous environments where you want to risk a human life. To design the robot, I use a CAD software called DesignSpark Mechanical. In this software, I can 3D model each piece and then 3D print it, and then I can assemble it to actually make the arm itself. So this is the entire robot you see here. This is all the pieces uh, that fit together. And as you can see, the, um, here are some other pieces. So for example, this piece right here uh, is the elbow piece. And uh, this is the bicep piece. So as you can see, you know, the bicep piece is a good example. Um, there's a lot more that goes into the designing of the robot than what you actually see. So, you know, this is um, that piece and there's, you know, cavities where the wires can go through and such. So that's the kind of uh, stuff I have to take into account when I design the robot. Alright, so another method to control the arm is using this board back here called a Fulu board. And basically what we can do with this board right here is run sequences or test the range of motion on this program right here. And this program is pretty simple using sliders only and I can test the range of motion for as a shoulder right here. As you see, when I slide um, the slider, the um, shoulder also moves with it. And this helps us with um, testing the range of motion and stuff. But this isn't our only program we use for the um, project. We can also use the Arduino, which is shown right here. And this can interface with the leap motion controller, which mimics each hand um, finger individual movements. So we develop a very interactive way so anybody can control the robot. And what we use here is this leap motion controller. And what this does is it maps your individual finger surfaces and uses that. And I use that data to program in Java over here to communicate with the Arduino board back here, which is basically the brain of the robot. And that basically makes each individual finger or the wrist move. So for example, when I turn this on, it should be able to mimic like that. So any movement my finger's doing is completely doing the same thing for the robot. A thumb, finger, middle finger, and the ring and pinky finger are connected to one servo, so they move the same. Here's a wrist, and anybody can use this and control the robot by using this method too, which is an interactive method we developed. And up here is basically just a diagnostic visualizer, so you can see your own hand in real time. So the last method of control is speech recognition, and we use this by programming uh, an SDK um, library in which it can recognize what we say so you know when I say you know for it to do something it can do exactly that so we have an example of that here close hand peace open hand go downstairs and grab me a soda we're not quite there yet but we're getting there